So, so what shall I get you to your house and stab you? OK, do you know who it is? There's smoke coming from where? Right, you need to tell me what's happening to get a police response. What is happening? He's robbed you of a £1,000. Firearms units, move across to FA1, please. Firearms units to FA1. Hello, please, please. Yeah, what's happening? A young woman in this flat, she's got children, and this young girl's just been and took bricks through a window. With a hammer? With a hammer. The kids are crying. There's a bloke in the flat shouting that he couldn't care less if she's got kids, and he's not nice. OK, and what did you say about the hammer? Uh, a, a girl, she just went up, there's a guy shouting, hammer the windows, and I don't know if he's inside the flat or he's outside. Yeah, I OK, we'll get to the out since we can. So just en route to a report of a disturbance, female with a hammer trying to attack another female. We don't know how they're going to react, especially when they mention someone with a weapon. They could be drunk, they could, or could they be angry, could they be under the influence of any drugs. So we just don't know at the moment. You know, we don't know if when we turn up we're going to inflate, inflate the situation, or they're going to take the anger out on us. So, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll get there before anyone gets hit with the hammer. It's the last thing we want. I've got a taser, uh, which would obviously be deployed to people with weapons. But if certainly someone with a knife or a, a, a hammer or a metal bar of any sort, then I'd be looking to go straight to taser, uh, just to get that immediate incapacitation, um, certainly if they come towards us. windows have all been smashed. So we've got three panes that have all been attacked. I think they've all, the whole panes have gone through. We've seen a picture of the offender, so uh, we'll go and see if we can locate her and she'll be arrested for criminal what, damage. What address did you say she's there? There's one around the corner. We're all going on masks because there's about seven and we don't like us. Take the chain off the door a minute. I can't because I've got mental health issues and I'm suffering from fever symptoms. Okay, so okay. is there anyone in, in the address with you? Um, no, it's just me on the tenancy agreement. You can check that. Hey, watch the voices I can hear upstairs. Obviously, that's just my that's just my friend, but she lives here. Hey, we're going to have to check because the information we've had is that she's in here. <laughs> you need to let us in because we're going to end up putting the door in if you don't let us in. You need to let me shut the door. Hey, I'm not going to shut the door. You open the door and we're all going to force entry. Your choice. Stop messing about. Last chance. Thank you. Stay away from my sister. Walk away. That's my sister. I've got rights. I'm not human being. Get out of his face and step back. Don't touch me. Get out of his face. I've got rights. No, you touch me again. You touch me again. I'm talking to you. Touch me again. PC15322. Touch me again and I'll break ya. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah? Touch me again. You're obstructing me. Stop walking. Member of society, you can't. I pay my taxes. Stop. No, suck your mum. You suck your mum. You can come for drunk and disorder if you carry on. I'm sober. You know. I'm a lawyer by this case. Walk away. Both of you walk away. I pay both your wages. I've done nothing wrong. Can you not go me? He's no. Like, no. You've been arrested on suspicion of criminal I'm damage. <laughs> what have I done? That bad. <laughs> Listen <laughs> to what we're going to say. I did nothing just wrong. Just be quiet. I did just be quiet. You need to just You're making me mad. You're making me mad. Yes, yes, we've got one out female under arrest for the criminal <laughs> damage. We've got a male that's <laughs> being quite anti with us at the moment. So you're a muffet, you're a muffet. Well, Go and leave me to do. All you need to do is don't walk away. Me. Don't touch my wife, bud. Just leave. My wife, Just leave. No, you've got. I don't have to. You've got no reason to be here. You've got no reason to be here for what? We've arrested somebody. Yeah. We're dealing with that situation. Yeah. Yeah. I've done nothing wrong. Let's get you in the back of the van. We're going in the back of the van. I've not done nothing. Well, no Does he make you happy? Does he make you happy? Not at all. 
I'm just searching your pockets. Get off me! Get off me! I'm just searching your pockets. What? I've done nothing. Yeah, go on then, mate. Yeah. Watch, watch your head. head. Watch your head. <laughs> if you choose yeah, to so Very good. Is that what takes you up? Go ahead. Grey top, black bottoms. Three right, we're going to get him then. So, when we spoke to the victim, she said that a male took the hammer off the female, started running round with it, saying that it was going to uh, smash up the, uh, the victim. Go ahead. He's walking out towards the main road, 99% on clothing. Who are they with? They've got him, I think. They've found him? Yeah. So they've got a male arrested who had the hammer, who took the hammer off. Just get up, get up. Step back, step back. I wasn't involved in that and I just got us forward. No, I just got us forward. What did I do? What? I've not done nothing wrong. I've not done nothing wrong. I'll go around the back Keep and open the door. Keep dragging on the back. And fucking mad. Fuck off! Right, we need to calm down so we can safely. This is a this is a bridge right, by human rights. Right. Sit still. Yeah. There we go. The male's been arrested for possession of an offensive weapon. He's not liked it. We don't actually know where the hammer is now, so it's the likelihood is that someone's um, took the hammer and stashed it somewhere. So, but even if we don't get it, uh, we'll have the statement from the witness, um, and that'll give us the evidence we need for a uh, prosecution to uh, to go ahead. You just don't know how people act when they're drunk. You might get someone that's really placid and really friendly when they're drunk, but then you can get other people that can just be completely the opposite and just be so aggressive. On this occasion, it looks like this girl's been drinking and has become violent with it, not happy about being slagged off on Facebook, and she's obviously decided to go around and smash the window. So it just shows that one person can be friendly uh, and the other can just go complete opposite and start getting weapons out and start attacking people's property. I could speak to my mum just to let her know that I'm all right. My mate's going to put you in a second. He'll sort it out with you. No worries. Thank you. Police were informed that his ex-partner was sent a video um, showing a, a potential viable firearm um, with some threatening messages attached to it. So he's been arrested for that to prevent harm and protect a vulnerable person. I'm trying to say that she's vulnerable. No, we say that when I'm I'm going to say, you know, have you ever met her? Domestic violence, anything Listen, related to domestic. It's, it's not uh, domestic, she's not my partner, so. Yesterday afternoon, we received a, uh, a call from a healthcare professional after a young lady uh, had been to a doctor's and she'd been having some threats from her ex partner. So she received this via Facebook Messenger. Listen, let me catch a man round you. Yeah? I'm gonna fucking put an all in him with that. Watch, I'm not fucking playing games no more. The warrant was sworn out for his arrest, and firearms officers executed that warrant. When they searched the address, they found this imitation firearm in a black case with red clasps. I think it's. I think we're quite happy to say that that is probably the same firearm. It's classed as a blank firing pistol. This is legal to own, but it's not something to be used to, to cause fear or intimidate anybody else. The ex-partner is quite well known to us. He's got some previous, so he shouldn't have possession of that firearm. 
the victim is not willing to provide her evidence at this time. So we are looking at an evidence-led prosecution. I will be looking to try and progress it to the point of remand due to obviously the, the danger that he poses towards the victim. So obviously the plan going forward is to interview the suspect. We need to ideally get him to say that he has had possession of that firearm, he knows of it. OK? Yeah. Yeah. I understand it's a bit serious, but I don't understand why it takes so long to get me into interview. Yeah, I don't know. We didn't get involved in that time. I know, I know, I know you don't. Me and my ex-partner, who was basically living in each other's pockets. You know what? She's nothing short of amazing. <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of trouble all my life. To be fair, this is the first time in my life I've tried to keep my head down properly. And that's sort of the do it. <laughs> If you were a victim being sent up, you could believe that it was um, real. Very keen to keep him in custody. Don't want her to feel unsafe in her own home because of him. I'll head over to custody now. It's quite difficult to get a victimless prosecution through CPS and the courts so we'll do our best to get him prosecuted without her support. somewhere in the region of 20 exhibits seized from the address. We'll see what that uncovers. I mean, these are, these are treasure troves of information. So this came through to be UK Border Force interception of seven and a half kilograms worth of cannabis from Coventry Airport, bound for an address in Derbyshire. They've opened the package up and it, within this box there's tins of dog food, puppy meal supplement, which have been packed quite tightly of, of cannabis, with some coffee on top, which I imagine is to hide the scent, and hide, hide the scent of, of cannabis. So the estimated street value is going to be around £50,000 from what I've worked out so far. I've not come across anything of this magnitude coming into Derbyshire since I've been working here. Mm. I don't know if you've been. I've never had anything this size, no. Good afternoon, everybody. So the intention today is to, again, just to the premises, we're going to use a rapid entry. Any, any person's inside is obviously going to be arrested for being concerned in the supply of controlled drugs. There's no warning marks on the persons at the address. We're looking for any devices that are capable of holding data uh, that might link him to the purchase or the attempted importation of this, uh, of this cannabis. Thank you. Walking into the address, it's it's concerning that we don't know exactly who these people are, or what their capabilities are. Oh, wish us luck. With drugs of that scale and that value, you know, fifty thousand pounds, it suggests that it's, it's more of a sophisticated chain. The thing is, it could be part of a sort of a larger OCG group um, distributing either to like Derby or into like the local community. It's a very affluent town, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, it's not normally or wouldn't be generally thought of as a hotbed for... No, not for drugs. drugs. People have lots of money. And maybe this is why he's, he's not been picked up or not been located at, like any sooner, because he is flying under the radar, because he is doing it in a, in a community that's maybe a bit more unsuspecting than in a more urban setting. These places might look normal on the outside, but there could be second doors that we need to get through that might slow us down. We have to be on guard with any potential hostility that we might be faced with. We have to do it quickly so that evidence doesn't get lost. Oh, 
I'll rush in first then. Wait on door, I'll go in first. Please. Police officers! Anybody Please, anybody please stand still! Stay where you are! Stay where you are! Show yourself, show yourself, show yourself, mate. Show yourself, mate. Come down here for me, mate. Is there anyone else in here? Yes, someone upstairs. Please, Please. 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 Sit down there, mate. At this time, you're under arrest, OK? For being concerned to supply of cannabis. You don't have to say anything. The may have a defence, you didn't mention. When questioned something later on in court, then if you do say, maybe give them evidence. Just put your hands across for me. Mate, I'm going to give you a quick search. Is there anything on, on you that's going to hurt me? OK, my friend, I've got a car waiting outside, so we're going to go and pop you in the vehicle and we'll get you up to Derby, all right? No, follow my colleague out the door, please. Okay. Just stay nice and calm for us, all right? OK. You've been arrested on suspicion of being concerned in the supply. I was there. That's yes. it, mind your head. Watch your head. It's a positive result. We've got the drugs from before and now we've got two people in custody. Searching the property. Um, we've got plenty of officers here to do that. We've got a dog that speeds our work up immensely. Prices, price list. Probably a dealer's list. The male that we've arrested has got the ability to say quite easily that he's got no knowledge of this package whatsoever. He could say that someone's put his name on it, his address on it, they've sent it to him as a joke, they've sent it to him for whatever reason. Being able to intercept any evidence that the addresser would link them to that supply is crucial. Where's the dog? She's upstairs. I've not been up in the attic, so there is um, ladders. Well, I've got that Good. There's evidence of, um, like, growing equipment in the attic. So 16 of those lamps, two strip lamps, and then a filter. Is there any signs anywhere else of a previous grow? The dog's quite interested in the back garden. It's certainly turning upside down. Have you had a look in here already? No, not yet. What is going on here? You've been converted into a cannabis grape. And there you go, he's had a clear out. Quite a professional setup. Got a CCTV camera in here. Has it? There is um, evidence of hydroponics, so someone potentially growing uh, for cannabis. I think there's some laptop computers as well, so they'll all be being seized. We need to get back and make an assessment of what we've got. It's all about putting everything together and hoping that at the end of it, we've got a case that we can take to court. go in to interview, you try and sort of anticipate what they might say, what they might not say, and generally it, it never turns out how you expect it to. With a job like this one, it was really important that we 
got a good outcome for the victim. You are under arrest on suspicion of possessing a firearm or imitation firearm with intent to cause others to fear unlawful violence being used against them. Can I just say something? So I've not threatened nobody with no firearm. I've not done... For, for one, I've not got a firearm in my, in my property. There was a blank firing starter pistol. Do your research, sweetheart. And I've definitely not threatened my ex-missus. Mm -hmm. So that's all I've got to say on okay. that. Okay. Tell me about her. She's fucking amazing. Right. Send off. Best thing that ever happened to me. If she's amazing, where did it go so wrong? <sighs> no comment. Do you think she's ever felt threatened by you? No comment. Do you think she's scared of you? No comment. Look at you two little fairies trying to wind me up about my expresses like this, man. I'm not trying to wind you up. Yeah, you are. You know what you're something, doing. Got better things than that to do. Just gonna show you a video. Listen, let me catch a man round you. Yeah? I'm not fucking put an hole in him with that watch. I'm not fucking playing games no more. Do you recognise that voice? It doesn't sound like me. It doesn't sound nothing like me. It sounds quite a lot like you. <laughs> You're gonna say that. You sat on the side at next. It doesn't even sound like me. Do you reckon that doesn't sound like you? No. These are all photos that have been taken from your house. No. That work top there is the same as the one that's in the video. Fox. Exactly like that. That's that one, that's it, it? It's ah. the one that's been recovered from your house. Not only that, the work tops look the same as yours. What were those comments made on that video all about? No oh, idea what you're on about, officer. No comment. From that video, do you think you'd be able to tell that was a blank firing pistol? No comment. Did you intend to kill her? What? Putting it out there, asking the question. Shut your foul mouth. No, I did not intend to kill her. Okay. She is absolutely petrified of you. She's got no reason to be. I would blow my own head off for that woman. Do you think that she's been cheating on you and you've then lost your temper and sent that video out of anger? No, no comment. Because to me, you seem very passionate about the woman. No comment. Love and passion can cause you to do things that you later regret. Let me tell you, nothing to do with me. Didn't send no videos. Okay. You've got fuck all. That's all I've got to say. Desk incident 10.39. Suicidal chap gone from hospital. So who, who is she actually... Right, just try and calm down. Who is she trying to assault? When he says attacked you, what way? This happens. Delta 1 November, Delta 1 Oscar. Just to confirm. Entry slip, debris and fuel all over the road. Airbags deployed. <laughs> We've had a report that um, there's been a one vehicle RTC that's gone straight into a lamppost. If it's a high speed impact, it's going to a lamppost, airpacks deployed, someone could be badly injured. They possibly could have been drinking, so we'll look for signs of that when we get there. It's a fast moving road, we might have to put a stop on the carriageway. Oh shit. Impact that's up. I don't think there's any live wires, it's not going to fall over. Hello, sir. Hey, you all You're right. What's happened, mate? I've just overrun it and like spun it out. And Have you got any injuries or anything? Uh, Apart from a bit shaky? A little bit. What's a little bit? In my leg, my right leg. But I don't think it's that bad. Nothing to drink. Anything to drink? 
Okay, well, I'm going to best lie you. Okay. Is this your car? Yeah. So, put your mouth around that and keep blowing to say. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it, perfect. He's literally just mischarged the corner and gone straight into the lamppost at speed. I mean, it's strong enough to knock a solid steel lamppost out of the ground, lift up the concrete. And I think that lamppost on there potentially be going over the 50-foot drop onto a live 70-mile-an-hour dual carriageway. Right, mate, I have to let you know that you failed your breath test, OK? So at this time, you're under arrest for suspicion of drink driving. So I feel really fucking embarrassed about the fact that this is a major junction and I take this junction like every day, so it's like the last, it? thing, the last thing you want is somebody to be being a knob. And I know I'm totally in the wrong here and I've fucked up massively. I've felt like I'm an absolute rotten criminal now. seems to be a nice guy, says he's never been arrested, never been in trouble, um, really apologetic. Sort of person I'd socialise with and he's just made a really stupid decision. Because the airbags have gone off, um, because it's a high-speed collision, we have to take him to the hospital. He's blown 82 on the roadside breathalyzer, which indication is um, at least four times over the limit, legally, drink drive limit. Right. Are you right to climb up there? Yeah. Can you... Yeah, that's fine. It really worries me that he's got kids' toys and a booster seat in the boot and, like, swimming goggles and he's clearly a full-time dad. Um, imagine the kids had been in the car. No airbags in the back of that car. I think he, he, he doesn't feel like in the minute, but he'll realise how lucky he is in the morning. Sure, Victor 85, confirm location, isn't it? Why was a firearm found at your address? You didn't find a firearm in my property. OK. My friend left a blank firing pistol in my address. Right. If it belongs to your mate, why was it at your house? Because he called in. When? For weeks ago. So it's been at your address for weeks? Oh, yeah. yeah that's why it was sat in the pantry. Now, this, you say, was in your pantry, so... Are you agreeing that it was in your possession? Yeah, it was in my house, yeah. You know it was. Your argument would be that that being was a dick. Your, you, there's no need to have that attitude with listen, us, is it? I'll give you an attitude in a minute, mate. Don't start getting lippy with me. I'm not getting lippy right? with you. This, this is have, an interview this will have less. to try and get to the bottom. Your colleague it. sat here and saying, you've got firearms, you've got firearms. You're not going to start when I've not had a firearm. But it was in your listen, house. Have you got a forensic department? Go and fingerprint the fucking thing. Who does that iPhone belong to? No comment. Is that your iPhone? No comment. So there's some interesting messages on on this. So I'll start with the first one. I'm coming up. I know you've been with someone. I'm going to shoot him. No comment. Further messages. Let me tell you, he's a dead man. You rat. I'm blasting both of you. What does blasting both of you mean? I have no idea, officer. No comment. And then the next message is, watch, I'm killing you both. It's going to be on the news, this shit. Have you sent those messages? No. If you haven't, who has? I'm going to get my crystal ball out. OK. Um, don't know. OK. When was this meant to have happened? You tell me. I, you're the investigating officer, sweetheart, so I was just wondering. You gave me a date. I wasn't really listening, to be fair. When was it meant to have happened? I've told you why. When obviously I've not done nothing. OK. You've got fuck all. You're a very, very angry man. I'm far from angry. Listen. OK. I am far from angry. I'm pissed off. You've clearly got an issue with women. Oh, oh, I do apologise. Are, are you being a bit angry there, sweetheart? No. Fucking jokers. No comment. You've sat there and you've made me out to be some monster. It'll come out, it wash, it always does. What will? The truth. OK, so I will conclude this interview. 
Oh. He could come across as an intimidating person just by his demeanour, very angry. If something upset him or a comment was made that he didn't like, I could imagine that he would erupt. I'm leaving that interview feeling like that victim is at some real risk from him. I hope we can get him remanded for the victim's sake. young lad five years old out in his pyjamas on a 50 mile an hour road. No adults in sight. She's kicked off the door. Is it completely off of its hinges? Stop engaging with her. I've asked you a few times. You're just going to make it worse, OK? Why do they want to kill your partner? It's just obviously I've never had people outside my flat chatting that they're going to want to kill me. Police emergency. Two gentlemen in store. And they're a bit of inebriated. Yeah. Um, basically, one of them bent over, and the police told me that he's got a knife in the back of his pants. The handle's about four inches long. Okay. All right. Leave that with me. I've got. I'm going to get officers out straight away on blue lights. Two males got into a store, they're very drunk. One has a knife in his pocket, the handle is four inches long, so potentially quite a large blade. There's two of the males, there is that risk that we'll approach them, they'll see us and then pull knives. Anything involving a knife is going to carry a high degree of risk, um, potentially loss of life. It looks like these two European males, um, one's Caucasian, dressed in all black with a black Facebook app into the red. We're just going into McDonald's at the minute in the store. I think you're always very acutely aware that you are going to someone with a weapon that could quite easily kill you. If we don't deal with it, no one's going to deal with it. And I have no doubt that some of the people that we take knives off, if we hadn't done that, they would have used them at some point down the line. Oscar Foxtrot units are coming with us, so firearms are going to back up. Hello, all police, show me your hands. Yeah. It's all right, come over here, come over here, come over here, over here, over here, over here. Over here. You literally do that? Yeah. There's a report, mate. We're just detaining him in. There's a report that you've got a knife in your back pocket, so we're just detaining him at the moment. Have you got anything in your back pocket? Yeah, what is it? It's just one way, because I... Okay, thank you. of a bladed article in a public place. That's a big knife. And I doubt it's I've got this male detained arrested. Oh my god, this is... I don't know what his intentions are, this will come in part of the interview process and you know you need to have a valid excuse for having it. Uh, a lawful reason. I'm really sorry man, I'm really sorry man. I'm really like, sorry. I apologize man. Well, I, I know you're gonna fucking fuck me up. You're the one walking around with a bloody knife. Well somebody's telling you that they're gonna kill you man. No right, okay well we'll talk to you about it in interview won't we? Uh, when you've had a time to sober up a little bit. I just wanna protect myself. I think this chap just wasn't aware that you couldn't carry a knife in self-defence in the UK. It doesn't matter if you're scared for your life. You can't walk out on the streets with a kitchen knife. You're committing that offence of carrying a bladed weapon in a public place. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's been okay. searched, yeah. Thank yeah. you, thank you. There's no lawful excuse. Yeah, it's not like he's chef and he's taking his own his knife down to sharpen or he's a joiner and he's got a Stanley knife. The smallest of knives can cause the most horrendous injuries and obviously death. You just see more and more people carrying knives now uh, and quite scarily at a young age. It's another knife off the street anyway. These two boxed iPhones, which they've said they're old phones and they're just in boxes. Found memory stick upstairs, so we've got that. You get a lot of scales, isn't it? Is it seven? Seven scales. Yeah. A deal book. Both of the arrested persons have given their explanation of what's it, what they know of this allegation, which is essentially denying it. So the phones potentially can use to show that they've accessed the website that these drugs have come from or spoken to somebody who's been concerned in getting this package over to them. These are all pieces that you put together and all point towards the same things. He's obviously within that world. But disrupting higher up the chain is more important than the low level because there's, you know, these the people that we've arrested, I believe, will be ten a penny. Yeah. They'd just find somebody else that's willing to do the dirty work. Taking out sort of medium to higher level members if we can do, is what's going to be crucial in, you know, stopping this particular drug ring. Hello, my name's Natalie. I'm a detective at Derbyshire Police. Yep. We have a domestic incident ex-partner has um, threatened a victim over Facebook Messenger and has sent to her a video of a firearm making threats. Now, downside, victim doesn't support. It's difficult to get a victimless prosecution through CPS. So the worst case scenario would be CPS won't charge and then he would potentially have to be released. If you look at these scene photographs as well, it's the same work top. Yeah. I really do hope that CPS will feel that we have enough to, to charge. It's very serious what he's done. I do fear for that victim's safety if he's not charged and remanded in custody. Oh, fabulous. Cheers. Thank you, bye. Three charges. Possess imitation firearm with intent to cause fear. Yeah. Possesses ammunition when disqualified for life. Yeah. And possesses cannabis. The, he said there's no point in charging threats to kill okay. because of the severity of the yeah. it, intent to cause fear. It wouldn't add anything on sentencing-wise. So no, cracking. Bit of a result. We can go over. He's ringing victim. Right. I'm just giving you a call to give you an update, really. We have gone to the Crown Prosecution Service and they've authorised that it's charged with three offences, so it'll be kept tonight and be put before the court tomorrow. Yeah. He's with us, he's going to stay with us overnight. All right, take care. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. is really satisfying when um, someone like the victim for this crime is 
clearly really scared. Um, and we have managed to get a charge without actually very much evidence from her at all. Charged with the offences shown on screen, you had in your possession an imitation firearm with intent by the means thereof to cause to believe that unlawful violence would be used against her or another. You had in your possession a quantity of cannabis. Do you understand all that, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll just bring my um, all right, Mum, it's me. I hope you're all right um, and not stressing too much and relaxing. Um, basically, I'm in court in the morning and I need some clothes, some socks, boxers and stuff because I'm not coming home for a while. Uh, but, yeah, I love you um, and I'll speak to you as soon as I can. Um, just keep your chin up. I'll get through it, you know. Uh, it's important to me is that the victim is the one uh, at the end of all this who is hopefully going to be able to ultimately heal. Ultimately, they'll get out of this circle of abuse with this suspect and be able to go on and live their lives. Um, hopefully, putting this in the in the sort of the back of their mind. Probably one of the most stressful roles that. Um... I've done within the police, but it's it's so worthwhile when you get a result like that. It was a machete. It's not got any blood on it or anything. Get off me, man. Get the fuck off me. Lots of shouting and then the lion's gone dead. It's absolutely manic.